Hi, my name is Craig Boyce. I'm with Kemper Water Control Systems, and I'm here today to show you our new Kemper Flow Splitter demonstration board. And I want to show you how this thing works. It's a great tool for you to understand um, and uh, realize how this, how simple this flow splitter concept is and how it works. It's really uh, an amazing tool that helps you comply with the IECC 404.5.1, and it helps you avoid stagnation in a room and it also provides instant hot water at every connected fixture. So this is the basic setup here of the demonstration board and you can see coming from the left side of the board is a source uh, hose or connection and this is where our water source will be coming from. It's actually just connected to a uh, uh, to a hose here uh, in, in front of my garage and then it goes through uh, and flows through this main pipe portion and then it goes out to drain and I have a drain just coming off uh, the right side of that board and that will just flow down my driveway. Uh, at the end of this drain pipe or hose connection is a, uh, a uh, stop valve. I can turn that on or off. Right now I have the uh, spigot turned on and water will flow through the main portion of this pipe when I open up the uh, drain valve. This pipe simulates a, uh, uh, a main distribution pipe in the ceiling of a building. And on that distribution pipe, we have a flow splitter. This is our flow splitter. Uh, it's a demonstration piece, which actually has a cutout glass window, which shows you the insert cartridge. And this insert cartridge creates a pressure difference to actually drive water into a connected loop. And so you can see that we have a loop connected off of this flow splitter. This loop would uh, uh, simulate a loop dropping down from the ceiling, from the flow splitter in the ceiling, into a bathroom, for instance. And it would connect to multiple fixtures. It would connect to sinks and laboratories, etc. Loop around and then connect back to itself again. What we're showing you here is a flow indicator so when I turn the uh, drain valve on and we get water flowing through this main portion of the flow splitter pipe and out to drain, for instance, you will see this flow splitter move. And so there's no fixtures being turned on in this loop and there could be multiple fixtures. This loop can also be about 100 feet long. And so even though there's no demand inside or within that loop, um, you're gonna see that this uh, water will be circulating because this flow indicator will actually start moving. So all I have to do is turn the uh, source water on here. Water will be flowing through this main portion of the pipe when I open this drain valve. And so when I do open this drain valve, that will simulate a recirculation pump or any kind of downstream demand. And so that's what we want. We have to have water moving through this. So on a hot water situation, you will typically have a flow, excuse me, a um, recirculating pump uh, moving water through here and I'm going to do that right now. I'll be turning this this on now and you're going to see this flow indicator move which means that water is actually moving in this connected loop. So I'm going to open up this stop valve and that will simulate the uh, circulating pump or any downstream demand and as I turn this on you will see water uh, flowing through that circulated loop into the room as indicated by the flow splitter and you can hear the water coming on now and immediately see that uh, flow indicator moving. That means that uh, water is flowing through the main portion of this pipe here, of course, out to drain. And uh, because of this Venturi valve, we're now getting circulation through this connected loop and back again. So we're avoiding stagnation. We're avoiding the potential growth of biofilm and bacteria. And we're also getting hot water immediately at every single fixture because it is a hot water recirculating loop into the room. And so that's, uh, that's the Kepler Flow Splitter. Um, thank you for watching.